2023 has been a great year for movies. We had Barbie, we had Oppenheimer, <laughs> Spider-Man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The only thing that can make this year better is the new Dune movie and wait, what? Oh no, no. This, this can't be. I have distressing news. Dune Part 2 has been delayed. What was supposed to originally release in November now has been pushed to next year, 2024, in March. Big wigs down in Hollywood think the best way to save money is to push back one of the most anticipated sci fi movies coming out this year instead of just paying their actors. We've got to have money. Because if you don't know the SAG after strike, actors can are not allowed to promote their movies. Even though I don't really remember much promotion for the first Dune movie, and this first Dune movie still did really well despite its double release on HBO Max. I guess we're just going by Max now. And I can't understand, especially with the release of Oppenheimer, which did really well, especially with the combination of being an IMAX movie, that they didn't think that this movie wouldn't also do really well, even without the actors promoting the movie. I mean, it had the IMAX theaters as well, and now that's going to the Marvels, and I'm sure Marvels fans are celebrating right now. So I guess I'll have to constantly rewatch the Dune trailers until next year, while I also sit and watch Hollywood constantly find some way to replace actors and writers with an AI. Speaking of the sci-fi genre, Zack Snyder, the people's champion, is back with another movie. You know what's funny? I didn't realize until making this video, I've pretty much seen almost every single Zack Snyder film that he's directed at least. And to say Zack Snyder is a hit or miss for me is an understatement. But I definitely feel like I'm in the minority when I say that. When I, I wasn't lying when I said Zack Snyder is the people's champion. I swear, some people would literally die defending Zack Snyder's work. And a lot of people were hyping up this Rebel Moon movie before the trailer was even released. And I'm not gonna lie, looking at some of the behind the scenes and screenshots for the movie, it looked pretty good. But this is Zack Snyder we're talking about. The man doesn't have a good track record when it comes to original products. What the fuck is this piece of shit? I mean, I will give the guys one thing. He he's not afraid to put everything on the table. He does not. It doesn't seem like he puts anything on the cutting room floor. Justice League is a good example of that. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Zack Snyder, he has an eye for making things look really, really cool. Even a movie like Batman vs Superman, which I still do not like, is a damn good looking movie. No, my main problem with Zack Snyder comes down to his writing and the way he writes his characters. I mean, if you ask my opinion, his best movie is still Dawn of the Dead, which is not really that fair because technically that was a remake and also he didn't write it. But he is writing Rebel Moon with help from the people he worked with on Armory of the Dead, which it's got me a little bit worried. I mean, we got a stacked cast of actors in here, including my boy Ray Fisher, who I just assumed was never going to get work again, which I, I got to respect Zack Snyder for bringing him back. And of course, a lot of people are comparing this movie to Star Wars and Dune, and I definitely get that vibe. I mean, we got robots, spaceships, lightsabers, but honestly, when I look at these lightsabers, they look more like the swords from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I'm what do you think they want? I mean, it does kind of suck that this won't be a theater release instead it's just going to be released on netflix like i mean i'm i am wondering how much of a staying power this movie will have especially because netflix movies are definitely hit or miss i mean extraction 2 came out this year with chris hemsworth even though i like that movie i've already kind of forgotten what happened in it i mean i imagine this will have some staying power however because this is a two-part movie which i'm assuming has already been filmed the most impressive thing is honestly the bu budget from this movie according to this article this movie is only cost combined combined both movies movies only cost around 166 million dollars and the main reason that's impressive is because this year we have had some ridiculously expensive movies for really no reason like why is fast 10 over 300 million dollars in the budget so it's good to know there's still some filmmakers out there that can make epic movies that, that don't break the bank so i'm a that side of fame mind if i get in on it uh yeah sure hey, alicia my sister what did you what did you think of the new trailer? I liked it. I thought it was very beautiful. But as someone who's seen all his movies, 
He always gets me in the first half. Yeah, they had us the first half. I'm not gonna lie. I want to be hyped for this. I really do, but I'm also like, a lot of his movies don't do that great. They're beautiful. They're beautiful to look at. The story-wise, it's just, it doesn't always make sense. And yeah, he just kind of loses me in the story a lot of times. I mean, if there's one thing you could say about Zack Snyder, he is a fan of world building, no matter what his movies are even if they don't always turn out. Yeah, watching this trailer, I got vibes like from Star Wars and even Dune because I remember reading that this was apparently supposed to be originally a Star Wars movie. He pitched it idea to be Star Wars. And I do appreciate that even though he didn't get to make his Star Wars movie, he at least is making something new where nowadays we have remake after remake after remake. And it's just like, it's nice to see him actually trying to do something new and it's like this world does like it's going to be interesting world to look like look at so i i mean i'm excited to see like what is this world going to be about well i guess we'll just have to wait and see it in december when this movie is finally released on netflix no matter what happens good or bad people will defend this movie to hell and high water but that's all i have to say on the topic let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of all these movies as always like the video or dislike the video whichever you prefer just make sure you subscribe for future content once again i've been nate i'm alicia stay up